We're back with a regular tutorial again this week. We're going to take a look at different ways to remove something from an array of data. So, for starters, we need an array of data. Here it is. Let's start by what I suspect is probably the most common case. I have a specific value or set of values I want to remove. In this case, let's get rid of black canary and scantily clad crystal. We can do this using array.filter, which is a non-destructive array method, meaning it returns a new array rather than modifying the original one. Observe. Let's go ahead and check that out. As you can see, we've reduced our seven item array down to five items. Oh, but just to prove that it's non-destructive, Our seven item array is still there. All of the other methods we're going to be talking about today are destructive, so they modify the original array. Personally, I hate that. I generally prefer immutable approaches where you create new variables with new values whenever possible, the way array.filter works. However, I am not the king of JavaScript land, or any other land, so I don't make the rules. Let's take a look at removing an array by index number. We do this with array.splice, which takes two values the index at which to start removing, and how many items to remove. It works like this. All right, save that. Refresh. As you can see, it returns whatever was removed, but it also definitely modifies the original array. We're down to four characters. Let's keep whittling by removing the first item in the array with array.shift. This one's simple and works like this. Okay, that first console log is going to log just the value Harley Quinn, which is the first item in the array, and the second console log will show us our new broken array. Alas, so departs our lead character. Now let's remove the last item from the array, the interestingly, uh, alarmingly, named Crystal, using array.pop. It works like array.shift did. Here we go. Once again, we get the value back from the pop, and then we get the modified array. We're down to two. Let's say we want to remove a value, but keep the array size intact. We can do that using the delete operator, which will replace the item with undefined, which the console logs as empty. So our array will still contain two items, but only one of them will have a value. Watch. One thing to note here, deleted name is not going to be a string. Check it out. Instead, it's true because the delete worked. As you can see, however, our array now has Huntress and Empty. Last but not least, let's say we want to blank the entire array. In older versions of JavaScript, this was pretty easy. You could just replace it with an empty array, though that could lead to bugs since other variables could reference the original array and retain those values. Either way, we can't do that now because we used const up above, which tells the JavaScript engine that we can't replace the array with an entirely new one. So how do we do it? Well, the fastest and easiest method is just to set the array's length to zero, like this. That's going to give us a blank array. And so we have it. Just for fun, let's bring our original ladies, and also you and McGregor, back to the party using array.push like this. Save it. Fresh. So there you have it. We chopped the array all the way down to no values using various techniques, then brought it back again with a simple push. And that's all we've got for this week. See you next time.